Hey guys, it's John from Awesome Quest. Before we get started with the video, I want you guys to check out this awesome podcast that I've been listening to called Dregs of Craigs. It's a show where these three guys, Steve, Dustin, and Sean, talk about the worst Craigslist ads you can imagine. And a lot of the times, the three hosts laugh so hard, I'm pretty sure one of them have puked from laughing too hard. It's a great show. Give it a listen. Now on with the episode. Hi, I'm John. And I'm Ted. And welcome back to Awesome Quest. Yay. We're still playing Spanish. Yeah. Because we're still waiting on Pokemans. Mm-hmm. We don't even know if we're going to be releasing this content. <laughs> Because in the in the last episode we talked about how this is going to be kind of our emergency content. We're just going to kind of throw it out in case, yeah, like <clears throat> we lose episodes or something. Hold on, gotta play Dark Samus because Dark Samus is better, even though um, technically the the oh, exact same. Dark Samus still loses to Vincent, so yep. I had you watch at least the first episode of Alpharad's CPU tournament. That was kind of the reason we did this. <laughs> Like, that was kind of the reason I was like, maybe we should just play Smash. David Vincent, who is also- oh, fuck. Oh, we didn't even hit the first minute before I saw her. <laughs> it's fine. This one Oof. might not even go out. Not high enough on that. Well, it didn't help that you were, like, completely cornered. Like, I had a full charge wave beam, and... Girahim was like, I'm gonna get your butt, baby! I got myself my own thing. <laughs> nice. Robin's also kind of hard to play. Yeah. Because he's got, like, this weird, like, charge mechanic on all of his abilities. Nice. Ow. Sam, uh, dark. Okay, so the difference I find between Samus and Dark Samus here, just like look at the jump arc. Look at how much floatier that is. Hey, there's tails in the background. I never noticed that. If you throw the books, you can catch them, and then you can throw them again at people for actual damage. Oh, that's cool. I've never done it before successfully. That's got to be hard. Ow. Uh oh. Nope. Nope, that's nice. That was that's cool. me exploding. What happens? I wish that Robin had a had hit his smash was now Grima instead of Krom again. With Krom in the game. Oh. Oh. Try and hit me. Try and hit me through my squid boy. My squid son. Ugh! Lost it again. Ow. Ow. I just want to see Robin smash, because I don't remember it. Him and Krom. I wish it was him summoning Grima or something. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Lore-wise, it would have been awesome, too. Because like you Robin and I are just big Corrin. lore fans. I like Robin more than Corrin. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Robin's better than Corn. I'll I'll be. Oh no, your metal, your poise has gone up. Big poise for big boys, like Havel the Rock. <laughs> you went off on a tangent there. Well, you you got metal flesh. You got iron flesh, like in Dark Souls. Oh, see, I don't get that reference because what I don't understand. And you Dark don't use pyromancy, so yeah. So I gotta avoid that frog at all costs. Because, oh no, now he's a snake. Snickety snake, snaking around under boxes. Because that. <laughs> I can't escape that. Thanks for getting me out of it. Oh, you're welcome. I hate that. That item, this item right here is one of the worst. Because, like, if it catches you, it's an auto. Dang it! Yeah! You can tell I'm not very good at Samus. That's okay. I can't even pay attention to the screen. It's it's so big and there's so much going on. I'm not yeah. used to it. Are you playing off of your computer then? No. Off of the catch capture computer? 
That'd be pretty funny. That would be funny. Because <laughs> that would actually it's probably give you an edge. Because closer you have... in size to the... Sorry, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going for the memes. Snake. Snake. It's me, a solid snake. I want to try Piranha Plant. It's such a fun... It's stupid, but it's super fun. Okay. I love, I love the Piranha Plant. Nice. I'm not used to ranger range guys. Oh, that got both of us. Yeah, it did. Oh, Mars Shadow. He's cute. He's in my shadow. See what I mean? And then he punches you. Is that a ghost fighting type? Yes. And it is an um it is apparently gonna carry over into um but some of the moves like they cut 144 moves. Yeah. Which is another reason I'm upset with Pokemon right now. Oh, I ran right into that. He's so cute though. He Look at how adorable. cute he is. Ow. I can direct that. I think I'm gonna have to change up Sans' move set. Oh, oh, hit me with it! It's amazing. I still get to move. Yeah. What fresh hell is this? Because you can continue to do damage to me. Oh. Get out of here with your stupid bat. I'm a plant with a bat, with a key actually. <sighs> <laughs> You knew that was gonna come. I got so sad for a second. Why? It's a good joke. It is a good joke. But it technically only applies to, um... It's also kind of dumb. So I have a reflector, and I realized about halfway through taking all of that damage, I could reflect it back at you. <laughs> Give me back that wing. Jeez. Piranha Plant hits like a tank, too. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, it does. Blech. I love him. I think he's cute. <gasps> yes! Beware the Waluigi. Nice! Threw that bat at me. You killed my son! <laughs> Ah, but you forget that Piranha Plan is invited by virtue of Waluigi choosing him to go in his place. You killed my boy. I mean, that's not gonna. Now you'll but... die by Alucard. I wish he was in the game. He, he would be interesting, cause like, think of his move, what his move set would be. My guess nice. is he'd be yeah. like, um, he'd that's be like fun. a combination of Marth and like, uh, Robin. That would be like, kind of cool. Ha yeah. He'd have abilities. Like that. Look at me, I'm a meme lord. Look at my meme so lordiness. So apparently the group, that, the people that did um the Castlevania Netflix series is doing the season three, but they're also um, adapting the Ramayana or something similar to it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if it's the Ramayana exactly, but it's something based off of it. Greninja! Really the only op option of that is... Incineroar. Blue Incineroar. Let me check the colors, actually. Edgy Incineroar. Well, no, go back a couple to the purple one. Big the cat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with this. Froggy! Where are you, Froggy? Froggy, where are you? Froggy, where are you? Froggy? Where'd you go, Froggy? God, Greninja's hidden ability is one of the most ridiculous ones. Yeah, the problem, the problem with it though, in this, like, so you have, you kind, you have like a shadow sneak ability in this game here, um, but to do it, you have to follow the shadow on the ground, and it's almost impossible to see on this map. Thanks. I don't know what that was, so I didn't know that did anything good. 
Oh, that was so close. Ow. <laughs> Incineroar is a monster, by the way. Incineroar is a monster. Did you interrupt that? Yeah. Nice. Because, so, like, this ability literally lets me teleport. His, his over B lets me teleport. <laughs> Greninja is super broken. <laughs> oh, that was close. Are they used to use Shadow Clip? Not, not the... I use Substitute. The Substitution used Look to? Look at it. It's a little Substitute doll from Pokemon. Uh oh. Nope. I, I tried to dodge out of I the way. I don't know if that killed. No, it killed. <laughs> Greninja is a character I have not played. At least I since... have not played Incineroar either, so. Nice, you're doing good then. Who in um, my playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Sun, I named my Incineroar John Cena. Of course. Nope. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> that was fun, though. Yeah. I love how hectic Smash can be. Yeah. You know what this would be... You know what doing, like, a level 9 tournament would be perfect for? Like, us just talking in the background about random shit. <laughs> Instead of actually commenting like Alpharad does. Yeah, why would we comment? We don't know anything about You have about the entertainment Smash. in front of you. Yeah, for sure. I know nothing about competitive Smash. I don't know anything about competitive fighting games in general. Neither of us do. Um, Let's play a game of catch between... No, I'm kidding. It's not. Let's play a game of full rando. No. Yeah, sure. Okay. Full rando. Here we go. This is this should be fun. This is this is how Daisy and Lucas. This is how Scammy and I play a lot. Is we will just hit random for everything, and see what comes out. I think one of their moms, Lucas or Ness's mom, was a Daisy, in the spirit <laughs> world of in the world of light section. Oh really? Yeah. This is sad then. Yeah. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. <laughs> You have metal. Is that, is that a Metal Gear? I don't know. Yeah, that's Metal Gear Ray. I don't know any of the stuff from the, those games, actually. So. Oh, I nailed that. See, my problem is I don't play control characters, and Lucas yeah. and Ness are like top tier controls. Because, like, their abilities rely on you, like, just kind of throwing things in different directions to make sure nobody can get through them. Oh, I got small. Listen to how cute this is. Oh no, he got big again. Nice. Toss. I'm gonna eat this rice ball. I mean, donut. Jelly donut. Mmm, <laughs> jelly filled are my favorite. <laughs> it's still the, like, dumbest thing in the entire world. See the binging with Babish. Oh, the binging with Babish, making jelly, jelly filled donut, Brock's jelly filled donuts. Yes. Gotta look. Love that. Uh oh. Nope. Cause there's a radius to it, and if you can get out of the radius, you can survive it. I did not get out of the or radius. Or if you're young Link and you explode your own bomb. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why that didn't complete. Oh, I slipped. I actually don't know all day to use moves. Oh, that's... Peach is just kind of hard because of the fact that... Like, she's got a lot of recovery and a lot of just like... Dun, dun, dun. I'm just gonna keep going this until it goes. I don't like that one. <laughs> um... Uh -huh. 
I'm just not very good at Peach. Surely a, pin a princess's rear end is her most powerful weapon. <laughs> nice. I love that banana gun. That is insane. How much know. did that do? It does so much. Like, and I don't know why. <laughs> Hi, Eevee. Ow. Dang. Ow. Did Eevee just kill you? Almost. You did. My ass did, <laughs> yeah. Your booty did. Booty like pow. I gotta avoid this kid. Fucking bodied! Not for much longer though. Banana gun! Oh! That is so ridiculously strong. It is so strong, and I love it so much because it's silly. He did it! His name is Lucas, and he's a good boy! This is what happens. <laughs> I just start. I, I run out of things to say, so I start doing stupid voices. Oh. That was not what I meant to do. I, I, I keep. You're, you were getting thing. ready to go over here the for characters, yeah. character selects. Ugh. I gotta read just. Ugh. We're in different chairs than usual, too, and mine likes to bend all the way back until I'm like falling out of it. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> gotta go fast. No, gotta go fast. Sonic. Did you. S Did you see. The redone trailer. Yes. Okay. So much better. So, are you on the bandwagon of people who think that it was originally going to look like that the entire time, I and they put out a fake trailer to I, rile up the gamers? I don't think I they think, would have. No, I think that was genuinely Hollywood going, oh, we know better than the fans. Yeah. And then realizing, oh, fuck, we don't. We no. have to fix this. Yeah. My favorite part of, my favorite part of that theory... That theory, though, is the fact that if it were true, that meant that the marketing team behind Sonic the Hedgehog knew all they had to do to make it as big as possible to make it go viral was to make it look wrong. Yeah. In which case, <clears throat> they're fucking geniuses. Which they aren't. No, so. there's no way. There's no way it was faked. Um, who do I want to play as? This is the problem when we get to about this point, where I've played as just about everyone I'm, like, pseudo-good with, and now I'm picking, like, randos. Let's go with Mac. Luchador, Pikachu versus Boxing Boy, Little Mac. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Would you really hit a, hit yeah. a woman, though? Yes. <laughs> it took you a while to get the joke, right? Yeah. Because Luchador, Pikachu is... A lady. Yep. It's because she got a heart tail. I haven't played Pikachu in these games in so long. Counterpunch. The problem with Little Mac is he has no sustain in the air. So, like, I literally have to be, like, down here on the ground the entire time if I want to win. That being said, Little Mac's, like, hits are fucking crazy balls. Get out of here. Oh yeah, like <laughs> nice. Little Mac hit like hits like a freight train. That was his side B, and it was like a fucking slam. That gives you an extra life. Just why I'm not gonna let you use it. You're hitting a, a poor defenseless animal that can make like electric power plants work. Yeah. Dang it! I pressed B too late. Wrong move. You have to get to me. Oh, okay.
Wee! Well, the best time to use it, but hey, I'll take it. Hey! We're just chilling. You ever man. seen Lucio or Pikachu with a jetpack? No, but it's cute. Well, now you have. Now I am. Oh <laughs> no! Gray Fox. That was his name is? I can't remember what his name is. Uh, yes? Something Fox. It's been a very long time. I think it's Gray Fox. Oh, nope. That was just kind of a poor round for maneuverability. Yeah. What are you doing here, coach? You didn't do anything! <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite f favorite flower, Lil Mac? Mine's chocolate. <laughs> what? That's uh, from the uh, Wii game. There is a scene where Doc asks Lil Mac what his favorite flower is, and he responds, and then he says, Mine's chocolate. <laughs> okay. His favorite well, flower. That's enough for this episode. It's a chocolate flower. Bye. Bye, <laughs> hey, everyone.